In this video I want to highlight some of the reasons why DSP Media is failing their group card. Disclaimer. I actually am a fan of card and this is no hate towards the group or members at all but I just want to point out some of the things their company is doing to hinder the group. Card is an interesting group. Some people love them. Some people really hate them. They have faced a lot of hate since they were first revealed in 2016. Mainly due to the company's fault DSP Media. Mixed gender groups are rarely popular, particularly in Korea and the rest of Asia. For this reason, there has been very little co-ed groups in K-pop because companies want their groups to be as popular as possible, and by having a mixed gendered group, they are already at a disadvantage. Card had three pre-debut title tracks which honestly did pretty well. Pre-debut releases are a good way to build a steady fan base before your official debut but I think Card had too many and they were too spread out. By the time of their long-awaited debut they were so hyped up because of their pre-debut songs and had very high expectations for them which would be hard to meet. In 2016, DSP Media revealed a fifth member known as a hidden card to fans. This member was Hia Youngji from the group Kera. On the 8th of December, DSP Entertainment made an announcement on KARD's official Twitter that Hia Youngji is the hidden member of the new mixed gender group. Many fans of both Kera and Card were very happy but there was a misunderstanding. Youngji was not a new member of the group but was actually just featuring on their pre-debut song Oh Nana. This misunderstanding upset many fans who got their hopes up. DSP did not explain the concept well. Card made it clear from pre-debut that their goal was to conquer the West rather than Korea and Asia. As of 2020, Card has performed in Europe and America for solo shows 35 times but only 6 times in Asia. According to Wikipedia, they don't take part in many Korean music shows. Variety shows ETC which is hindering their growth in Korea and surrounding countries. Some people say they don't need to promote in Korea because they are doing so well elsewhere. But at the end of the day they are a Korean pop group and personally I think they should have focused on Korea first. Most of their songs include Spanish lyrics or Latin influence and it's been made very clear who they want their audience to be, but in turn it's closing off a whole load of fans. Card did not have a solo concert in Korea until 2018, but they had toured South America, North America and Europe already. This one really bugs me. Costumes are a huge part of a performance, and Card's stylists are not it. They've had some pretty good outfits but the majority, especially lately, have been all over the place often putting each member in a completely different outfit from the others, often in patterns, colors, styles etc that clash. It's not appealing to the eye to watch and really affects their performance. Their outfits often make them look like four solo artists rather than one cohesive group. Their outfits from pre-debut were probably some of the best they've had and it just gone downhill since then. March 2019. Card revealed that they were having their own reality show, Card the Live, where they would be going around Korea, showing things you can do and eat to help teach international fans about Korea. Many fans were excited and the video had subtitles in English, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish and Turkish. However, all later episodes had no subtitles at all and the show was in Korean so many international fans could not watch. Many commented begging for subtitles and finally over two months later, DSP added English, Portuguese and Spanish subtitles with later episodes mainly only having English subtitles and some episodes without any subs at all. Their views dropped significantly from the first episode. They lost a lot of their international viewers which blows my mind because they've tried so hard to gain an international following. How hard is it to hire a translator? Especially when even one of the members speaks fluent English. Now this is one I don't really agree with but a lot of fans talk about this. Both Somin and Jiwoo have had the most lines and screen time in all songs and MV since pre-debut. Obviously, BM and JSF stands aren't very happy with this but TBH. The girls are vocal and the boys are rap and most of their songs have mainly vocal parts so I don't see it as too much of an issue. Another problem many point out is their formations when dancing. Often JSF is not seen and is standing at the back behind BM or one of the girls. I'm not sure why DSP do this and I don't know why they can't think of more formations for the group because it's just sad seeing him at the back all the time. It's less of an issue when someone like BM is in the back because of his height. He can still be seen. I mean JSF pretty much spends the entire song bomb bomb in the back and unseen.
She know they're born and no bitches. So in there, you thirsty, I'm thirsty for this. Got your own jiggy, my bro, hold your gag if she want it. Dripping like faucet. Chok chok, got your tongue and thumb. I'm a bum bum. Wallin' on me, wallin' on me, wallin' on me. Honestly there are so many more things that DSP Media have done to hinder card but here's just a few examples. As mentioned earlier, this is not hate. I've been a stan of card since I got into K-pop but there's a few things that their company has done that frustrates me a bit. Card are very talented and work really hard and deserve to have their name spread worldwide. Please support card and hope DSP steps up their game soon.